Hello everybody, my name is Eamon Steamers and welcome back to True or False. Now, in the last episode, I've gotten pretty much a lot wrong, but I've managed to learn as I go. So let's get right back into the campaign. And if I remember correctly, we left, we left off at question 100. Yep. Now, <clears throat> The Hill of Tara in Ireland contained the Ark of the Covenant, and the Irish were a part of the Lost Tribes of Israel. Now, this thing has a lot of detail in it, but I'm pretty sure it's true, because... Okay, this game blows ass right now. That, that was way too detailed to be false, but the actual shit. The word bookkeeper... It's the only unhyphenated English word with three consecutive double letters. That is true. Yeah. Duh. People thought the world was flat before Columbus. <sighs> before Christopher Columbus. Uh. I don't know. So. Let's go true. Fuck! Okay, let's move on. The first constitution in Europe was the Ukrainian constitution. The first constitution in Europe. CF, when I was in school, I didn't learn much about um, Europe, or anything for that matter, because I was in such a small school. But there was the main campus, and then there would be another small school about five... No, 10, 15 minutes away. We'll turn the light on real quick. I'm too lazy to get up, so I'm using my grabber. That took too long, sorry. Can you, can I see myself better? Holy shit, I can see myself better. Okay. Constitution in your, in your, the, give me a second. The first constitution in Europe was the Ukrainian constitution. Ukraine. Is that in Europe? Oh no, let's say true. Okay. Let me look that up. What was the first constitution in Europe? The first modern constitution in a European country was adopted. That was in 1791. Oh, it was made in Poland. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Um, let's, let's continue, shall we? Eritrea, not North Korea, scores as the first... scores as the country with the least media freedom in the world. Oh, fuck. True. Sweet. Moving on. <laughs> Sweden pays high school students $187 per month to attend school. Now this, I can relate to because when I was in high school, I did not want to go to school at all. Like, it was so fucking frustrating. I was moving to a new school, and the first day, my official first day as a high school person, I was scared as shit. I ended up coming home, because I wouldn't attend. But, I gotta say it's true. It's too goofy to be true. Like, plus it's in Sweden, so that makes sense. Bots have outnumbered humans on the internet. That's definitely true. Yeah. There's so many fucking bots, like, Facebook, meet me, kick. All these goddamn fake-ass profiles, it pisses me off. Like, last night, I received not one, not two, but three fucking friend requests from bots on Facebook. Fucking pissing me off. 
There is a mountain in Australia named Mount Disappointment. That's a little too weird to be true. Yeah. See? Plus there's a monkey, so of course it's true. Pineapples were a status symbol in 18th century England. You could rent one, rent one for the evening to take to a party. Hmm. Fuck. Um, pineapples. Mm. Now, I don't know much about the 18th century of England, but if it's northern England, like the actual country, and not <clears throat> the England that we're in, then. Let's see, I think it's true. Sweet. Okay, moving on. U.S. eggs would be illegal in a British supermarket because they are washed. British eggs are illegal in U.S. markets because they're unwashed. That is very detailed. Like, holy shit. This is probably the longest question I've seen so far. Um, but I'm going to have to say false because it's too... S wow. That's kind of dumb. Rembrandt students pranked him by faint, by painting fake coins on the floor to watch him try to pick them up. <laughs> and that and that one's very detailed and very very funny. Like painting false coins on the floor. And trying to watch Rembrandt pick them up. That'd be like watching. Um, that would be like watching an episode of The Walking Dead with no commercials. So that's true. Yeah, yeah. Famous physicist Richard Feynman's second wife divorced him because he would do calculus. While lying in bed at night. Now, this one's definitely false. Because, I'm, no, well, I'm pretty sure this is true, but the ending is quoted, so. Yeah, I had a feeling it was true. Harambe. It's a Swahili name that means working together, pulling together, helping each other, caring, and sharing. Now, oh, this one had to have Harambe in it. Harambe was also the name of a silverback gorilla, which was shot because a child fell into the enclosure, and they th and they thought it was more safe to kill him rather than to fucking tranquilize him. So this is true. Yep. But um. Yeah, Harambe was a gorilla that was at a zoo. I'm not sure what the location was. Let me look that up. Where was Harambe located? Okay, so he was located in Ohio. And he was 17 years old, apparently. But I don't see why they didn't just tranquilize him rather than freaking kill him. And he'd still be alive if the dumbass parent watched after the kid in the first place. Sorry about that. The most common street name in America is 13th Street. That's true. Okay, fuck you. One second. Sorry about that, I always talk to my friend while I'm streaming for recording. Vincent Van Gogh painted Starry Night while he was in an insane asylum. Now I know now I know that Vincent Van Gogh was a famous painter, and I think he was the one that cut off his ear. That's why he was in an insane asylum, so that's probably true. Yeah. 
Achievement unlocked, Starry Night, sweet. Nasa no longer has the original recording of the Moon Lady because it has been recorded over and reused. That's true. Yeah. Okay, let's stop with the questions right here and let's move on to adventures. Okay, no adventures available to play. You can grab Owl Rescue DLC for free on Steam. I will check that out. Let's do a quick play. Ozzy Osbourne's DNA has been sequenced to see how he's still alive after a life of hard drug use and drinking. True? Yeah. Bob Ross painted three copies of every piece of work on the show. That's definitely true. God rest his soul. Shooting point blank means shooting in a range where you have don't don't have to account for gravity. Point blank. True. Sweet. Okay. Iguanas have a third eye on top of their head that has a transparent skill that detects light and dark. Well, shit. Um. <clears throat> again, I don't know much about iguanas, but. Do they have a third eye on the top of their head? I think that's false. I lost. Okay, so, <clears throat> I'm going to leave that episode of True or False here. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And um, tell me how I'm doing. I'll get the Owl DLC on Steam right now. And if you like the episode, just like down below. And there's a link that's like, okay. Oh my kid, there is no link. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys pretty much whenever I record another video. Maybe tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure on that. But if you have game suggestions, comment right down below, and I will read them all. Also, tell your friends that I'm a new YouTuber, in a way. So, just let me know what you thought. I will see you guys. I don't know. I don't know one. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys whenever I make the next video. Take care.